Aries, this is your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and likely actions for the week ahead. So let's see what is here for our lovely Aries. Happy birthday to those who are still celebrating. So your person is feeling very much up in their head, Eight of Swords energy, Gemini energy. We see that they want success and completion with you. What do we see as their likely actions? Ooh, this person is very comfortable being single, Aries. They're very, very comfortable. They feel in their power when they're single, ready to mingle. So what do we get for the Eight of Swords? Because their thoughts are that they have nowhere to go with this. They don't know what to do. They feel like they can't speak or share things with you. So why do we have... Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, oh my God, <laughs> Aries, your person feels as though you are absolutely a divine counterpart. They adore you, they love you, they respect you. They feel as though there is a topic that has now become taboo. Communication has ceased. They feel defensive, they feel underwater. They do feel as though you're their divine counterpart, but this area of communication is now putting them in the energy of holding back from you. So this will be different. It's a problem as I see it. It's an outside problem that your person is facing and they're trying to be all bossed up and I'm cool and I'm good and I'm in command, but their energy is that you have the answers. They're looking to you for the answers, but you've disconnected from whatever this is. So let's see more information on that. Yeah, you feel as though your person is dealing in a family situation. The Hierophant is family, institutions of family, in a way that's very difficult. You feel as though your person doesn't tell you the truth, and they don't. So I would just say that there is an elephant in the room type problem that has nothing to do with the intimacy and love for the, that the two of you share and that your person has for you. But they have a problem that they no longer feel as though they can share with you, discuss with you. It's, it's just not something that is really yours to deal with. They know it, but they, I think there was a time when they tried to bring you into it. But we do have this person very defensive, their way or the highway kind of thinking. So they could be pretty inflexible your person is feeling definitely underwater, like maybe you've lost respect for them, okay? They feel as though they've been downgraded from an emperor to a knight that they don't know you, you think or they think you think that they just don't know how to handle their stuff. Maybe true. Tell me in the comments. How they feel in their heart space. They want a brand new chapter with you. They want a new beginning. They love you dearly. They want to complete a cycle of difficulty in which your communication has been limited. The Ace of Cups, lovely, beautiful, falling in love all over again. Coming to the table, though, with a very small offer. Your person is acting almost like a little teenage masculine energy of like, well, Aries, this is what I have to offer. And they want to collaborate in life with you, you know, but they do feel as though they're at a crossroads. They hold back terribly from you, Aries. This person holds their emotions back. I really don't see them giving you a lot. I feel as though they're always in this very strong feeling of control my way or the highway. I'm the cool one. A very defensive. That's how I see your person. Very defensive. What else do we have? Yeah, see? Your person feels as though they have to be in control. Two of the most controlling cards in the deck are the emperor and the devil. This person's very controlling, but they would walk away from you rather than to admit that they really aren't in control. They feel very vulnerable, but they will not tell you that. I'm getting that their 
relationships with other people or family problems have spilled into your relationship in a way that's like, well, I'm loyal to my family and I will walk away from you even if I know it's the work of the devil that I'm doing it. I say that tongue in cheek. But, you know, I'm just going to really hope that Aries is going to give me what I want. So why do they think that's okay? They see you as highly productive, highly successful. They see you as very highly desirable. You know, they know that you can take care of yourself, that you're very independent, Aries. We get the energy here that you see the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And whatever it is that you see as being true and honest has caused conflict in this relationship. And I see somebody who's who wants you to be a, you know, the old term, I don't want, I hate to say it, but ride or, you know, perish. I'm not going to say the word that I don't like. You know what it means. But your person wants you to be that person to them. And you really can't be because you know it's unhealthy. You are not partaking. You're turning away from the issues that have caused conflict. They're really not your issues. They're really not your relationship issues. So let's see what they might do this week. We see the Nine of Pentacles. As they look at you also, they see you, Aries, as highly desirable. They may be feeling much more passionate this week. They may be talking about, I think you're going to plan a vacation, is what I'm getting here. They really love you. You are their best friend. They feel like joyful in your presence. The, life has never been better than with you. And yet this person feels this sense of betrayal in terms of the future with you that it's only a matter of time before you leave them. I get the feeling this person, Aries, is so defensive that they would walk away, kind of like, well, I broke up with Aries instead of Aries dumping me on my head. And so I feel as though you're dealing with someone who will just throw in the towel when things aren't going their way. And in fact, they go to extremes. They're like, happy, happy, make love, let's go have fun, trying to seduce you, trying to bring you close, trying to have you be who they want you to be in the relationship with them. And when they don't get their way, see, they love you so much. They love you, love you. But when they don't get their way, it's like a little hissy fit ensues. An argument breaks out. They say really rough things. This could all happen. And then they try to apologize, I think, without ever apologizing. I don't think this person ever says, I'm sorry. They just figure you're really strong. And at the end of the day, you know, you'll heal from whatever. Aries, I'm going to look at the hidden truth for you and see what's going on. Because this is kind of a, and, you know, this person's energy is not energy that's healthy. The love is great. The communication is great. They feel like you couldn't, they couldn't be luckier to have you. And yet, they're so defensive like, how dare you say the emperor has no clothes? Remember that old fable? The little boy who says, oh, the emperor's naked. I miss being with you. See, so even within the context of the relationship, this person knows that a cycle has closed out and that you're leaving behind toxic energy is how I'm reading this. You don't, yeah, we don't share the same values. So your person thinks that you're supposed to be ride or perish no matter how crazy or stupid it is i'm just going to say it straight up that's how i see it they feel as though you're just supposed to be on team love regardless of whether it's even remotely rational i miss seeing you your person feels as though you've already left them aries so if you're currently in relationship and it looks like you are your person feels as though you know the old joke elvis has left the house I don't know how to feel. So we see a person who's got very mixed feelings. What is the core issue? Tell us, Twin Flames, please. What's the core issue with your person? Why are in, they in this very unhealthy energy with you? So if this doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon rising or Venus. This is not going to be for everybody. Don't make a tarot reading fit if it isn't yours. Don't take it. Okay, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. Ah, see, I saw a family connection over here. What else do we have? 
you still take my breath away. That's very clear that you still take their breath, their breath away. And one more card. Let's see what we have. Am I good enough for you? Well, that is the $64,000 question. And I don't think it's that you question this person's value. You do question their judgment is how I'm seeing this. I'm going to leave it there for this week, Aries. Have a great week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.